For a long time, I asked to myself, uh, how can I recreate beautiful animations without writing lines of code? Finally, I found the answer, and today I'm gonna show you how can you recreate three beautiful award-winning animations that you can find on a lot of websites, uh, and I'm gonna show you how to recreate them without writing lines of code. We are going to use After Effects, but we are not only going to replicate the effects, but we are going to put them into a single design, so I can show you how can you synchronize all the animations together to make everything flawless and how can you create a beautiful web page animation without writing lines of code. Let's jump right into it and I'm super pumped to show you everything. For the design we're going to use this here section that I've created for another tutorial that I've made on how to create an award-winning experience and if you haven't seen it yet you're missing something really interesting so definitely check it out. So this is going to be our starting point. Starting with the first animation we have this text that goes from the bottom to the top with this masking effect. It's a super simple effect but it adds a lot of of motion, a lot of interactivity, and it's super simple to do so you don't have to go crazy about uh, animations. So how we can apply it to our design? We're going to add the effect to our title because it's the biggest element on the page, uh, it's the most impactful uh, and I want to add some animation to the title. So pick the element, uh, I'm going to use uh, my plugin uh, to break uh, the title into words. Uh, so I'm going to change uh, and take the animations panel, uh, text break, uh, break words, uh, and I'm going to have uh, every single word of the title, set it up for my animation. And if you don't have the plugin that I have, it's gonna be a pain in the ass because uh, you need to break uh, the words, uh, the title, uh, the letters, uh, one by one, but you're going to have the same result. This plugin uh, only makes uh, everything faster. So now that we have our title divided by words, we are going to select uh, the rectangle tool by clicking Q on our keyboard or by selecting the rectangle tool in the toolbar. And we're going to draw some rectangles on every single title uh, or every single word that we have in our design like so. Again, just to organize everything, let's put all the shape layers uh, on the respective words uh, just to make everything more visually organized. But to mask the words, uh, we have two ways. Uh, we can use the plugin or we can use uh, the After Effects tools that we have built in. Same thing again, but just in different ways. With the plugin, I select the shape layer, I store the shape layer and I apply it uh, on the text and I hide the text layer. The other way, without the plugin, just select the mask. So that's why we want to have our shape layer above our text so we can use the alpha mat uh, in built in into After Effects. Select the shape above the letter, and we basically have done the same thing that we have done with the plugin. Now it's just a matter of repeating things, so nothing new, nothing difficult, so just some mechanics, uh, and you have, you've, you've basically done everything. Now if we take all the words and we move them around, we can see that we have this masking effect. Now the only thing that remains to do is to add and to animate the position of the actual words. Now we select all the words into the elements panel, we click P on the keyboard to show the position properly. We create a keyframe at the second one, at the first second, we are going to change the duration afterwards. Let's move the playhead at the beginning, we create another keyframe and it's now that we move our words. In this case, let's move them to the bottom and if I click space on the keyboard we can see that we have our animation. For this effect the last thing that remains to do is to add easing because right now it's pretty ugly. To do so there are again two ways I use the plugin that I've installed and I use I go here in the animation panel and I add some easing for example this one and we have the animation that is really nice and really smooth. Otherwise if you don't have the plugin just right click on the keyframes keyframe assistant easy is now we go into the easing panel and we change the behavior or the curve for the easing and we basically have the same effect. Now another thing that we can add to add more personality to the mission just add some delay between the words so for example write that and we play the animation and right now it looks way more professional. Super simple animation my friend and you can use it wherever you want, uh, just apply the same concept uh, on the element that you want to animate, uh, create a mask, uh, move the element uh, in whatever position you want, uh, add some keyframes, uh, easing, you've done. Again, to organize the project, and it's super important to organize your project because when you have big websites and you have to do and create every single animation, you need to be organized, otherwise you lose everything and it's going to be a mess and it's super time consuming to work on the project. Select all the elements, right click, pre-compose so we can create a composition with all the, with just the elements for this animation. Now moving on to the second animation, it's going to be super easy and we can see when we open and load this page, it's going to be a preloader with 
all these rectangles that disappear with this really nice anim and smooth animation. This shows you how really simple animations can make a website stand out uh, and they can make everything way more professional than a simple preloader that disappears in a simple way. It's about creating something that is unusual yet simple. It doesn't have to be super crazy 3D or something like that. Simple but with details. Let's start with some math and some calculations. We need to divide the full length of our frame in, uh, I don't know, 12 pieces, uh, 13 pieces, whatever you want, uh, just uh, divide the full length uh, by the pieces that you want to create. Of course, the more rectangle you create, uh, the more detailed uh, the animation is going to be, but don't exaggerate. In my case, uh, I use a 1920 by 1080 frame, so I'm going to take uh, the 1920 and I divide it by 12 because I want to create uh, 12 rectangles. And the result is going to be the width of the rectangle. So 160 is going to be the width of one single rectangle. Let's go back to After Effects, click Q again on the keyboard or select the rectangle tool on the toolbar and we draw a rectangle right into the frame. Make sure to move it at the beginning of the frame. If you'd want to be extremely precise, just put the resolution in After Effects to full. Expand the shape layer in the elements panel, contents, rectangle, and we're going to have rectangle path. We we have the size and link these two dimensions the width and height because we don't have to keep the proportions the width is going to be the first value so we're I'm going to change and to put 160 in the width now it's time to duplicate everything so select the shape layer click common and D on the keyboard and let's cover the entire frame by moving every single rectangle Now, if we pay attention to the animation, we can see that the rectangles start to disappear from the left. So in After Effects, we need to set our anchor point for every single rectangle to the right. To do so, select all the rectangles. I use the plugin again. So we need to set the anchor point to the right. Without the plugin, select the element, so click Y on your keyboard and move this little scope that you're going to find in some other position and move it on the right of the element. Really simple, nothing fancy. Now what we have to do is extremely simple and fast, just select all the rectangles, click S to scale, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and we add another keyframe at the beginning. We are going to unlink the two scale dimensions, so one is going to be the X value and one the Y. We move the playhead at the end of our animation and we are going to change the X to zero. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy is. We go in the graph editor and we select all the animations and we change the curve of the easing. Now if we play the animation, you can see that we have this beautiful preloader. It takes seconds, but it adds a lot to the website. Of course, we don't want to keep the white color, so let's change the background color because it's ugly. So right now you can see that it's better than the white color. Again, select all the elements and click pre-compose so we have everything organized. Now we have two animations and both are starting at the same time, so to synchronize to make everything way better to synchronize and to see all the animations in a clear way we just need to for example delay the title animation for example something like that and you can play around with the values with the delay with whatever you want it's just a matter of practice to see what works best that's the fact that you can add to your preloader to add even more personality to your website and to your actual preloader is this effect from for nurse studio it's basically a movement of letters uh, on the web page uh, and it's really nice to tell uh, the story in a different way, to tell uh, the name, uh, for example, in this case, uh, the name of the brand in a different way is super effective uh, and the user feels like uh, he is uh, or she is uh, in an experience. And these are the small things uh, that truly helps uh, telling the story of the website and of the brand. Again, you don't need uh, crazy stuff uh, like 3D animations to tell a story. Going back in After Effects, uh, I already placed uh, some letters uh, on top uh, of my preloader just to make everything faster, but it's really simple to add some letters into this frame. Now, the important thing 
thing here is to understand the flow of the letters to make the aerial animation and to have a clear vision of what you want to have at the end. In my case I want to have the O that goes with the J, the I that goes with the N and then everything that comes together at the middle of the loader. And going by logic is really simple, we just need to change the position. So let's start with the O and select it, click P on the keyboard to show the position, move the playhead at the beginning, create another keyframe, let's move again at the end of the animation and let's move the O closer to the J. Let's do the same thing for the I, so select the I, click P, position, add a keyframe at the end, create a keyframe at the beginning, go at the end and let's move the I. To make everything more smooth and more organic, add some easing, keyframe assistant, easy ease and we go into the graph editor and change the shape of the easing. So right now we have the first part of the effect. Now for the second part of the animation, just select the two letters that we want to start from, for the click P on the keyboard, add a keyframe right after the end of the first animation and add a keyframe for both the letters. Let's move the playhead to two seconds and let's move the letters at the middle of the frame. Again, add some easing and right now I'm going to do it on from the plugin. Do the same thing for the other two letters. Again, add some easing move the letters in the middle of the frame and then we have to do the last movement so to do it perfectly just click on view and show rules so we need to add a rule at the middle of our frame so we have the perfect conjunction point for the two parts of the world same thing create two other keyframes uh, right after the previous animation go to three seconds create other keyframes and let's move the two letters in the middle let's do the same thing for the other two letters And as you can see, we are basically done with this animation. Of course, we have a synchronization problem because the preloader is disappearing too soon. So let's change this. For the preloader, we want to start the animation after three seconds, so at the end of the text animation. So let's go in the pre-composition 2, which is going to be all the things that we have for the preloader. We are going to select every single keyframe and we're going to move the keyframes and start from three seconds right here. Let's go back and change and delay all the other animations, of course, because otherwise all the other animations start too soon. And let's move them like three and a half seconds. I think that is the best way to see the animations. Now, if you take a look at the final result, we have everything synchronized. We have the join animation, the preloader and the title. Right now, the only thing that remains to do is to add some animation to the join world. But let's try it by yourself and let me know in the comments down below if you have any problem and tag me on Instagram with the final result. That is it guys, and as you can see, you don't have to create crazy animations or crazy 3D effects to create a beautiful experience and an award-winning experience. Be creative with simple stuff and pay attention to details. Details are the only one thing that are going to make a difference in your website. This is the end of the first episode for this series guys, and share some links in the comments down below of websites that have some really nice effects that you want to see in After Effects. Smash like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next video.